10 things that French women never do. So I'm back with another French culture video. I know that these are your favorites. I get the most votes for them all the time when I ask you what content you want to see. So I thought of a new one to show you today and it's things that French women never do. And I'm going to be sorting this into three categories. There's going to be food, fashion, and like social kind of the social aspect lifestyle of it. Before we get into this, as usual, I do want to say that this does not apply to all French women and things are changing now, society is evolving, so not everybody does this. And also I'm not saying that this is better or worse than in other places. I'm just saying what French people do and this is mostly for entertainment purposes because I know that it's a subject that interests you. So I hope that you still enjoy this and find this useful and don't hesitate to leave in the comments things that you would never do or things that are different or similar in your culture and all of that. So we're going to start out with my area of expertise, food. And the first thing that French women never do is that they don't keep on eating when they're full. French women are really used to listening to their bodies and the hunger and fullness cues and they don't have this desire to eat past a certain point of fullness if they are satisfied with their food and if they've gotten to the point where they feel full and, and happy then they are going to stop eating even if there's still food on the plate even if they haven't tried every single option at the buffet even if somebody is pressuring them to finish what they're what they're eating they just don't they just listen to their bodies and are able to say okay I'm done, I've had enough. I think that this also stems from the fact that French women see food as pleasure, sure, but there's also this huge pleasure with everything else associated to the meal, like eating with family or friends and talking, discussing ideas, discussing, discussing events, talking about all these different things and enjoying the actual context. So it's not like eating the food is the only good thing that they have going for them. And it's kind of like, okay, now that I'm not hungry anymore, there's no reason for me to keep on eating. Another thing French women never do is eat meals in front of the TV. Family meals are so important for French people and you will rarely see a French family having meals in an unstructured way, just like everybody eating their own food whenever they want and watching like the television and stuff like that. They will gather for a family meal and they will eat together as a family and they will have like pretty long meal times. So this may be the case if it's like a quick meal or like lunch sometimes or there's like this special situation or reason as to why they would but in most cases they have meals sitting down with everybody with their family and they are more likely to be tuned into their hunger cues which goes with the previous point to know when to eat when to stop and also to really focus on their eating experience and not the TV. Another thing that French women don't do is snack mindlessly throughout the day. Now there is something in like French culture called le goûter which is mostly for children but some fr French adults like partake in it too but it's basically there is this set time period within the day where you have like a small little meal that is your snack but what French people don't do is just snack throughout the entire day mindlessly whenever they're bored or even if they're a little bit hungry they don't do that and also the type of snacks that they do have during their snack period is something that is like pretty healthy and balanced they're not gonna snack on like chips or cookies or like candy or whatever mindlessly like some people do elsewhere in the world. Do you feel like you're always going on different types of diet plans but nothing seems to work? Do you feel like you can't control yourself around food and that your food obsession is taking up all of your energy and time? Do you wish you could build healthy eating habits that actually last without restricting yourself from any of your favorite foods? and saying goodbye to dieting forever. I put together a free training that covers the eight steps you need to take in order to figure out healthy eating for good. In this training, you'll learn about which foods you should be having for optimal health, which ones you should be avoiding also, and the quantities in which you should be having them. You'll also learn why you need to incorporate the less healthy foods that you love into your diet and how you can do that. 
you'll learn how mindful and intuitive eating can massively help your healthy eating habits. You'll learn about the relationship with food you need to have for lasting results and more. So make sure you check out the link for that in the description. You have nothing to lose and everything to win. Now back to the video. And another thing that French women will never do is have bad table manners. This is very important in France. There are certain table manners, a certain etiquette when it comes to eating, and people will respect that even if some things are kind of weird or outdated, but there are certain things that you just will have to respect. Probably not if you're like eating with like family or friends, but even then, like there's still things I would I would be careful with. Not having table manners is something that is really frowned upon. I know that when I went to the US sometimes, I was kind of shocked by the way that people had like no table manners. Not to be rude, but that's the way that we perceived it. I know that sometimes it can be a little bit, um, seem a little bit like uptight and outdated, but that's the way that things are. And if you want to know more about these table manners, what they are, I did make a video on like French food rules that you can check out right here if you're interested or in the description. And then more generally, if you're interested in the way that French women eat, you can check out my video on how French women don't get fat right here or in the description. Now we're going to talk about things that French women never do when it comes to fashion. And the first thing is that they are never overdressed or like, overly sophisticated. When French women go to events, they like to be well put together. They like to have like their hair and makeup done and have a nice outfit, yes. But there is not this dramatic change from when like they're going to just like work or run errands to going to like a special event. They like to be put together, but they don't like to overcomplicate things. They don't have like a 20 step makeup routine that they do to apply that like a 50 minute hairstyle or like an outfit that's like super extravagant. That's just not something that French women are into. They're more into like simple, sophisticated, kind of less is more look. Also in the same vein, they don't like to wear too many colors or patterns at the same time. They don't like to clash. They like to be kind of like, again, simple, minimalist. It's kind of the same thing with their nails, for instance. They like to have maybe one color, nothing too crazy, no like gems or super crazy patterns, things like that. But again, when I compare it to my experience with and women in the United States, they tend to be way more extravagant when they are going out to special events. And then kind of on the opposite side of the spectrum, one thing that French women don't do is they don't wear their like loungewear outside. That is something that I found super weird when I went to the United States and that a lot of French people never wouldn't do, like wear their inside clothes outside, wear like sweatpants and flip flops and like pajama shorts and all of these things and tank tops wear the, what they wear inside, outside. They have their outside outfits that is like, their, those outfits are more sophisticated and well put together. And then when they go inside and they wanna be comfortable, they're gonna put on like sweatpants, but they would not go out in even sports clothes, all this like athleisure thing is really not a thing in France at all. And finally, one thing that French women never do when it comes to fashion is they don't wear something just because it's trendy. Of course, French women love fashion and they like to stay on top of trends, but if it's something that they don't like or is too like out there for them and they don't feel it looks good or integrates well with their style, they aren't going to wear it. They're not going to buy it. They're not going to try to make it happen. French women like to have their own style, again, pretty minimalistic style, and they like to stick to that. And while they can be influenced by fashion tendencies, they aren't going to redo their entire wardrobe just because like one celebrity said, oh, you have to do this. I think that when it comes to fashion and then in general, like physical appearance, they are less influenced than for instance, American women, women from the United States, because they aren't going to go get something just because the celebrity has like this, like this fashion item or this procedure done or this hairstyle, they tend to really do what works for them. And also they will listen to like family and friends advice, but they won't go on the internet looking for other people's opinions. So now we're going to get into more social, the social aspect of it, what French women never do in that sense. And the first thing that French women never do is that they will never be like hypocritical, like superficial. A lot of people say that French people are rude, but actually 
French people are just very honest and transparent and if they don't like you they're not gonna pretend that they like you and if they don't know you they're not gonna be like overly excited to meet you or anything like that they're gonna be very normal basically if I compare it to American people now again I'm doing this because I know that most of my audience is American and also I've lived there so I have some experience but you know obviously this can apply to many different cultures but if we take American people so people from the United States they tend to be a little bit more superficial like when you first meet them they tend to be like super friendly but then after a while it's like are you even friends like you're asking them for something and they don't reply or they're you, re you realize that you're not like that close with them whereas French people maybe it takes a little bit longer for you to get to know them and for them to kind of open up to you but then once you're friends they are going to be there for you and they are not going to be fake and not superficial or anything like that another thing that French women never do and this kind of goes with the first one it's not saying what we think we are always honest direct we always say what we think if something if there's something we don't like we're going to say it we're going to say it with tact and it's harder for some people to do than others like i have a hard time but i will not lie i will not say that i like something when i don't and that's just a general french mentality if somebody asks our opinion we will be honest we will say it in like a nice manner not everybody but most French people will and we just won't lie. We don't get the, the point of saying something fake to your face and then saying what we really think behind your back. And I know that that can be perceived as rude in certain cultures where it's more polite to say like nice things to people and then like when they're not here, you can actually say what you really think. But that's why French people sometimes get categorized as rude and like snobby and things like that. But it's just a different way of doing things. And then the last thing that French women will never do is create drama or like be super impolite. We don't like drama. We don't like huge like, things where we're the center of attention, things like that. I have witnessed these events in the United States and never in France. French women are more like detached from things and if something happens that they don't like, they will most likely be like, okay, that's not, that's an inconvenience and leave. Or for instance, if something happens like in a restaurant, if they don't like their food, they're not gonna cause this huge scene. They're just gonna be like, okay, this was not the best experience I had be honest about it but they're not going to ask to speak to the manager and the chef and the whatever and be super mean about everything they're just gonna leave without causing a scene so those were the 10 things that French women never do let me know if you like this type of video and if you want me to find more things that French women never do maybe I can even make like a special nutrition one I don't know let me know but I hope that you got some useful information, that you got some insight, that it was entertaining. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe and see you on my next one. Bye.